सो वी हैव वन ऑफ द बेस्ट स्नोम्स नेम्ड एज पैरानोइड एंड्रॉयड बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन अनफॉर्चुनेटली इट्स नॉट ऑफिशियली अवेलेबल फॉर मच डिवाइस और ए मे बी अनऑफिशियली अवेलेबल फॉर ओनली फ्यू ऑफ द डिवाइस बट इट इज एक्चुअली काइंड ऑफ अंडर रेटेड बट इफ यू आर इन टू कस्टम रोम कम्युनिटी फ्राम अ लॉन्ग टाइम यू माई प्रॉब्लम यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट पैरानोइड एंड्रॉयड इज जस्ट ऑसम one of the reasons why i am here to make this video on is about the performance i'm using unofficial version redmi note 8 but i found this is just super smooth and i'll talk about some of the things which have been included in this version so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end first of all yes it's based on android 13 based on android 12 with sikta we already have this if i move on to the default launcher it's almost same like you don't have the pixel launcher pre installed i mean same means because in paranoid android you never get pixel launcher pre installed you have their own paranoid launcher which includes some of the customizations for sure like add up icons to home screen it's almost same like double tap gesture lock layout google search bar which you can enable or disable you can replace the screenshot button with google's lens button if available and some of the developer options here and there and one of the best thing is you can disable this option where you can install where you can use the google's widget clock widget which will give you a better ui so things are quite good and for you it might be a very good choice if you're looking for a daily driver based room and yes if this room is officially available for your device you must definitely install this thing quick settings panel is quite interesting we don't we have the white light actually quick settings in background for me i think so this is a very good thing and kind a really good positivity we have same kind of options which you have in android 13 scan any qr code etc etc same options available here and there if i move on to the bar menu it also has the light background if i enable the dark mode yes we will see the dark background in quick settings panel other than else all the android 13 features have been added on already If we move on to the settings UI, as this room does not focus on customizations much, so things are basically same. The UI is actually same. Nothing to talk about in these conditions. For a, for example, if I move on to the options which are available in this version, battery, etc., same kind of options. We have some of the things included. For example, the gestures are one of the main highlights about this one. Gestures include the system navigation where you can in where you can enable the option called immersive navigation, which is of course quite good. And same like that, if I move on to the options related to other options, other gesture options, basically we have some swipe to screenshot options available where you can customize things. If we want to, all these options are already present for you, which looks actually quite good, and you definitely need these features. We have one-handed mode, playback control. press and hold for power button swipe to screenshot as i just mentioned it is one of the useful features available in almost many of the customs or maybe a lot of customs and same with this one too playback control is also quite good which will which will let you handle your music by just pressing and holding the volume down and up keys one of the interesting things which i found here is the screen of gestures for me i just love this thing you can simply change the double tap gesture i mean a lot of customers have this feature where you can use the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep but here you can change that the double tap option is there but you can use the double tap to turn on the torch if you want to like in my case we have the option double tap to take um, double tap to change the ringtone maybe there are other options available for you too looks quite good let me show you the other options which we have if i move on to the screen of gestures flashlight option is already there which i have enabled and which is working perfectly fine and most of the times these things will work for you so these are screen of gestures which are included looks quite good security section of course has a useful thing called fingerprint no face unlock no app lock as expectedly yes i'm using an official version in redmi note 8 so if you need link for redmi note 8 i will provide you the in the description for official version. you can check out their website and most of the times i think so it's not officially available for any device yet while making this video but if you still need this thing check out your support groups you might already have the unofficial version maybe if whichever device you're using we have some of the theming customizations available too where you can customize the fonts if you want to we have uh, some cool font options available roboto mandrop and sikra and some system icon packs where i only use sam victor only and yes no puy etc etc 
Paranormal Android, as I just mentioned at the starting of the video, why I am just loving this one and why I am sharing with you. In Redmi Note 8, if you are also a user of Redmi Note 8, if you are a Redmi Note 8 user, let me tell you once again, this is one of the super smooth customs I've ever tried, especially based on Android 13. I don't think so any ROM can beat the performance of this ROM. This is ultra smooth and if you were looking for a smooth ROM, you must give it a try. These were the things I just want to let you know. I hope you like this thing. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. And yes, I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.